Today is June 19, 2012, and I'm back again with another video. If all you brothers out there, uh, I want to give you some tips on how to protect yourself against a new fucking threat, okay? As if we don't have it bad enough down here. The goddamn zombies, okay? That you've been hearing about on TV, mainstream TV and radio and all of that shit, okay? Now, however you want to call it, you know, the mainstream media calling it zombie attacks, okay? Zombie attacks. But uh, I have to disagree with that, all right? Because the goddamn zombie is slow, all right? Not your tra traditional zombie that you see on TV and, and, and video games and all that shit and, and the movies and stuff, okay? Uh, zombies don't really think, okay? They don't. And zombies are fucking dead. Alright? If you really want to know what it really is, it's something I've been talking about ever since I first started making these videos back in October of last year. It's the goddamn reptilians, okay? That's what it is. Alright? That's what it is. And the mainstream media downplaying the shit, okay? If it was so-called bath socks that made a person act like that to carry out such behavior, that shit would have been banned a long time ago. I mean, some fucking bath salt? Bath socks, okay? I mean, let's get real. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Even the worst kind of street drugs. Drugs on the street don't make you want to go and gnaw on somebody's flesh, all right? Stop believing that bullshit, like I say, all right? Because these things, these human, half-human, whatever, half-human, half-reptilian, these are thinking people, all right? Living among us. All right, go to go to work just like we do every fucking day. Pay taxes and all. All right, these ain't no goddamn zombies. These are fucking reptilians, okay? A form of them anyway. Reptilian hybrids. I told you, reptilians eat human flesh. All right, they eat human flesh. Have a craving for it. All right. Now, I don't know what the fuck is really going on. All right, I don't. And I'm still trying to get answers. And I'm still trying to put this shit together. But it's safe to say to, to rule out some goddamn bath salt that's making people act like that, okay? That's bullshit. Totally bull. And zombies, like I said, don't think a zombie is a fucking zombie, alright? Don't think. Don't do none of that. Have the brain of a of, of, of a one year old. But these are thinking people, alright? People that think. And if you remember the story, the, the first documented attack in Miami, the cops, okay? These are some of the most corrupt motherfuckers in Miami Police Department. Corrupt as hell, alright? Just like the police department here in Baton Rouge. They fucking corrupt. All right, so they don't mind put a bullet in your ass. All right, because the other cops gonna cover for him. All right, whatever his story is, the other cops gonna back him up. All right, but best believe when they tried to get this so-called zombie off of this man's face to keep him from knowing knowing off his face, worse than what it was. Best believe they tried to kick his ass, all right? They tried to kick his ass and tase him and everything. The cops got their ass whooped 
That's what, that's the reason why they put a bullet, several bullets in this motherfucking thing, all right? Now, from my knowledge of reptilians, that's having strength like that, okay? When you, you know, whoop four cops, all right? Asses simultaneously. And you know a lot of them overweight, okay? A lot of them are fucking overweight, all right? So you dealing with two, four, six, eight, close to a thousand pounds, okay? If you dealing with four fucking cops, all right? This man, this creature, had the strength of four men, all right? They had to put him down with several shots, not one, but several. And you think about it. The standard issue for cops as far as ammunition, they use hollow point bullets, all right? Hollow points that do the most fucking damage because when they hit flesh and bone, they break apart into like razor sharp pieces and shit, okay? And it, it's nasty, it's real nasty. You get hit with a hollow point, that hole gonna be nasty, all right? And the, 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 the surgeon gotta go and pick out all these little pieces and shit, sharp no metal from the expansion of the bullet, okay? From fragment, okay? Now, you have to do your research. You brothers have to do your research. And if you blow the shit off, like it ain't nothing, think about when the AIDS, the HIV, the first cases of AIDS, HIV, all right? It made a big roar in the mainstream, but then it died out for a little while. Until it started becoming more and more common when patients going in the hospital with this so-called unknown disease, all right? That they ain't never seen before. Now, it's the same thing with this. This is, this is a test run, okay? With these fucking creatures, all right? I'm gonna say creatures because they true form come out whenever you piss them off or some shit like that, all right? But other than that, they're just like us. They are just like us, walk among us, and everything else. All right? But whatever triggers that instinct, whatever triggers that instinct, may have something to do with the radiation that's going around. See, what a lot of people don't understand, radiation mutates your DNA, all right? It fucking mutates it, all right? And the mutations, it, you don't know how it's gonna have an effect. You don't know what, what might come out of that, you know? You don't know if you might grow some more fingers or whatever. You don't know what the effects might have or what the outcomes would be from that genetic mutation, okay? That's the worst thing about uh, radiation, okay? Because it fucks up your DNA and your DNA just, you know, it, it just shatters it, you know? So, that's something to keep in mind to you brothers, but it don't even really matter what the fuck triggers it, okay? Or how these motherfuckers came to be. What matters is if you can protect yourself and your family and your kids. Because if these attacks keep happening, it's only a matter of time before a child gets gnawed on, okay? It's only a matter of time before the first child get killed by some fucking creature or whatever, okay? And you need to protect yourself. You need to. Last time I talked about making preparations, I had no idea this shit would, you know, we'd be facing some shit like this, okay? As if we ain't got it hard enough already. But this bullshit here now, you know, gotta deal with it. Don't think that it can't happen to you, all right? Because down here in the South, 
we get the first of it. We get the first dosage of it, okay? We went through fucking Hurricane Katrina, okay? We then went through the, the goddamn oil spill and now this bullshit here, all right? So don't think, you, you know, we just some fucking island down here and you can't get a dose of what we get, all right? Because the second goddamn case of some motherfucker going berserk, knowing on somebody's face, was here in Louisiana, all right? Right here in my backyard. So I have to be smart. I have to, I have to keep my eye out and be aware of that shit might come my way. You see what I'm saying? And I'm trying to tell you brothers, be prepared. I'm going to tell you something, a, a way to prepare for something like this, okay? I'm going to tell you the most potent weapon you have in your house. A defensive weapon. If you don't have a gun. Alright? If you don't have a gun. The most defensive weapon. Most potent weapon. And life saving. Item in your house. Is a towel. I said what the hell is this nigga talking about? A fucking towel. Okay? A towel like this. Just the old regular towel. Ain't gotta be no big towel. Just a towel. Alright? See, most people don't think when they panic. Alright? That's what I'm trying to get you. I'm showing you this shit right now. Because when you panic, you ain't gonna be thinking. Alright? You're not. And if you don't think fast, you can end up on your ass. Alright? You get a regular towel. This regular towel may not seem like much, but it's a good weapon to defense, okay? All right? If somebody trying to gnaw on your goddamn flesh, you can use the towel as a diversion, all right? The towel can keep, keep a motherfucker at bay, all right? Now, let me give you an example. This, these ain't nunchucks or nothing like that. Now, I got the real thing. I got nunchucks. But for a lot of you brothers, they live in New York, California, Chicago, and Massachusetts. The fucking nunchucks are ruled out. That's worse than the gun. They know the power of some fucking nunchucks, all right? But anyway, it can be used as a diversion like that, okay? To keep the motherfucker at bay, you go for the eyes, all right? Now, it may not see, it might not pack much punch. But your eyes are the most sensitive uh, part on your body. So you go straight for the fucking eyes, all right? And that'll make a motherfucker back up. But within close range, if something trying to gnaw on your goddamn flesh, what you do is you gag it, all right? You bring it like that. You gag the mouth and you ain't got to worry about no motherfucker chewing on your flesh. If you really want to kill a motherfucker, you can, all right? by suffocating, one way or the other. You can go for the throat, you can go for the mouth. All right, don't matter. But this right here is a good defensive weapon. All right, don't underestimate a towel. to a good thick cotton towel, okay? Not only you can use it for that, you can use this goddamn towel if you get hurt, you start to bleed. If you get injured, okay? You, you get a towel and you put pressure on the wound. All right? Because a lot of people die from injuries, okay? They bleed to death. That's the thing. They don't really just die from the injury. They die from a loss of blood. If you can slow the blood from flowing out your body, that could be the difference between you living or dying or saving somebody else's life, okay? Another thing with a towel, all right? If somebody got a knife, the towel could be that same diversion, all right? Because a goddamn knife ain't gonna cut through this thick-ass cotton 
that I'm talking about. I don't care how sharp it is. It is not. It is not, all right? Trust me. The towel could be used as a diversion, okay, to get out of harm's way. I ain't saying you gotta whoop nobody's ass with no towel, but you can make a motherfucker back up, <clears throat> and that could be the difference between you living or dying so you can escape, all right? And another thing with a towel, with a gunshot, okay? A towel. You know, most motherfuckers, you know, when they packing handguns, they have hollow point bullets, okay? A hollow point bullet expands on impact, all right? When it hits, gets in your flesh, okay? But that's where the most damage is done. When that bullet go in and expands and shatters, okay? when they go into what they call a mushroom. With a towel, okay? With a towel you stick under your shirt to protect your most uh, vi vi viable body parts, okay? Such as the heart, you know, the, the, the kidneys, the, the, the intestines and all of that shit, all right? Because you have stomach acid in your body that break down your food. You get hit in the stomach, that acid is gonna start eating at your flesh, all right? You have a protective lining in your stomach to protect that acid from eating through your body, okay? I'm talking about serious motherfucking acid, okay? And if you get hit by a bullet, That's a breach. You not only deal with blood, a loss of blood, but you deal with acid also. That's eating away at you. And it's gonna feel like liquid fucking fire, all right? This towel right here, this towel will make the motherfucking bullet expand before it even go deep. As soon as the bullet hits this towel, it's gonna expand, it's gonna clog the, the 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 cavity of the bullet of the hollow point okay it's going and, and that's going to be a wrap you have more of a chance of surviving with a goddamn towel than a knife or a gun okay if you know how to use it depending on the situation if you know how to use it and if you want a bunch all right because the economy is fucked up right now all right and bullets and guns and ammunition, they're going up. Sky high. All right? So, you keep in mind, you don't need a knife, okay? And the good thing about this, you can carry a fucking towel anywhere you go, all right? I know of no place that banned you from carrying a towel. And the good thing about it, nobody ever knows, suspect what the towel is being used for. You see what I'm saying? You can say, hey, I need to wipe my face. All right? You can wrap it around your neck and go places. People think, hey, it's just normal. You got, this guy got a towel around his neck. When cops look for a goddamn weapon, they looking for knives and guns, all right? They ain't looking for no towel. All right, a towel in the right hands can save your life, all right? It can save your life. Has many, many different uses. I'm not talking about no any towel, I'm talking about one of these thick ass cotton towels, okay? Thick. And the good thing about a towel, all right, it's adjustable. I'm gonna show you the real thing, okay? A set of nunchucks. This towel will have an advantage over these right here. I'm gonna tell you why. This is fixed weight, okay? If you wanna add weight to this towel, all you gotta do is dab it in some water. With these nunchucks, it ain't gonna make a difference, all right? The weight is gonna always be the same. And if you really wanna do some damage, all right? You wanna hit somebody in the nose, 
or hit somebody in the eyes with a towel, you can do so. You can you can adjust the amount of damage of this towel by adding water to it, okay? You add too much water, you can wring it out like that, okay? Like I said, this is not a weapon. This is not a weapon in all 49 states. You can carry this goddamn towel anywhere you go and still use it as a weapon, all right? And the thing about it is you don't have to worry about no legal ramifications if you get caught up in some bullshit. You're going to tell the judge, oh, he whooped my ass with a towel. That's not considered a weapon. A towel is not considered a goddamn weapon, all right? So any person will have a hard time trying to argue a case in court with just a simple towel, all right? Just a simple towel. And you brothers need to be aware that when you are in public, you don't have to just worry about getting robbed, okay? You got to worry about these fucking creatures, okay? These so-called zombies. That's what you got to worry about. You have to add that into your inventory now of motherfuckers you got to watch out for, okay? That's what you have to do. Me living down here in the South where all this shit is going on, I'm caught up in the midst of it. It's only a matter of time. The, the, the tanks keep working their way to the South east or southwest okay started on the south uh east working its way southwest all right so it's only a matter of time before there'll be another case of a so-called zombie knowing on somebody all right and i just wanted to make you brothers aware of that shit because, you know, we always have some shit going on with us. And we ain't always able to keep up with everything that's going on around the world. You know? And be smart, okay? When you're going out in public, be smart. Because these fucking creatures, whatever they are, they got a lot of strength. They find strength from somewhere. These motherfuckers get strength from somewhere. All right? So if you think you're going to go up against one, that's a little scrawny motherfucker, okay? And you are, don't be arrogant and say, oh, that ain't, you know, this, 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 this motherfucker ain't shit. This, this white boy ain't shit. This nigga ain't shit. And start laughing when the motherfucker growling at you and showing his goddamn teeth. Don't be arrogant like that. Don't. You either fucking get out of Dodge or you be ready to muscle up against that motherfucker. All right? But the best thing is to take your family first, get them out of harm's way, and put the motherfucker down. That's all I can tell you. Put them, put the motherfucker down because all a matter of time before one of them get on the child. All right? It's like you hear about pit bulls and shit attacking people that's jogging, kids that's riding their bikes, playing in their front yards and shit. These motherfuckers, it's only a matter of time before they go and fuck and, 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 and fucking gnaw some child. A helpless child. All right? That's why I say, you can't make peace with a madman. I said this shit before. Put the motherfucker down, all right? Put him down. If possible, put him down. And don't let the shit be Don't even bother calling the cops. Fuck that. Don't even bother calling the cops if you put one down. Be one less motherfucker we got to deal with. You see what I'm saying? Because if you don't put him down, this motherfucker going to go kill somebody else, okay? Maybe you somebody in your family. Put the motherfucker down and be done with it. 
You know, I told you about the damn concrete and shit like that. You do what you need to do. Save all the tech, save the, the, uh, the whole, all that bullshit about making a police report and all of that. Fuck that. You know, uh-uh. Fuck that. If you smart, you don't stitch. Period. You don't fucking stitch. So that's the thing about it, brothers. You be smart and you be safe, okay? I originally wanted to make a video talking about the universe again before I went off on, got distracted and went off on white folks, all right? It was just something inside me that I, I had to just get it out, okay? I had to, fuck that. I had to say how I felt about the whole situation. But the universe is very, very complicated. It's, it's, it's so much I have to break down about the similarities of the universe and computers that we use every day, all right? But I might make another video on that. Right now, that, that don't even really matter. That's recreation. What matters is surviving. Survive these goddamn threats that face us every day. Every day. Don't be arrogant. Watch your back at all times. And don't trust nobody. Alright? Don't trust nobody. Like I said, we drinking and breathing radiation all right and you don't know what kind of effects that it has on all of us it's going to have different effects on on on, on different people okay everybody it ain't going to be the same effect on everybody it's not the main thing is important also is to check yourself too check yourself and see if you're doing something different all right. If you if you changing your habits, if you have a craving for some goddamn human blood and human flesh, hmm. Not just check other people, but check yourself as well. Because you might be coming down on some shit. You might. That's why it's important <clears throat> to eat healthy. Get the proper nutrients, get the proper amount of rest. And hope for the best, all right? Until there's some kind of motherfucking breakthrough. Until we get our hands on some kind of technology that will put motherfuckers down, all right? And I ain't talking about motherfuckers on Main Street. I'm talking about motherfuckers that have the power to change the world for better. But they don't. They don't. So that's the thing, brothers. Be strong. Hold it together. Take care of your family. And watch your backs. All right. See, when you read, when you get the news from white folks, it's for white folks. All right. When us black folks, you know, some it's a little different. We, you know, we gonna get it a little worse. Okay? It's like when they talk about unemployment and stuff like that. That's white folks they talking about. You know, with the black folks, it's always the worst for us. Okay? They say unemployment at 8.9%. You must believe it's about 15% for us black folks. All right? I'm just using that as an example. Not real figures, but I'm just using it as an example, okay? But, uh, I just thought I'd make this video for you brothers. I'm trying to keep it short. And, you know, tell you brother, I'm not intimidated. Fuck no, me not making a video for a while, that's some shit that I got going on with me. I've been strung out old pussy, okay? 
You know, that, I, I got one of the thorn pushed at me left and right. Left and right, like, Lord have mercy, girl. Damn, let me see, let me see that pussy hole. Let, let me see what's in it. Let me see what you working with. Huh? I've been strong out on pussy. I'm trying to get get it together, all right? See, I don't smoke or drink or none of that shit, so I gotta get, I gotta have something to keep me, you know, to take out my stress out. You know, that, that makes me feel good. And that's pussy, okay? Pussy, 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 all right? But, um, ain't got shit to do with me being scared about what I said or some shit like that. Ain't got nothing to do with that. Because of women. That's what it's about, all right? Some of these hard-headed assholes that I'm dealing with, but that pussy so good, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to say no. All right, a lot of you brothers know what I'm talking about. It's hard to turn down some good, big, wet pussy. All right, you hit, you getting it from behind that pussy, farting away. I'm telling you. Let me go ahead and end this video. But a lot of you brothers, just be careful about when you are in public. All right. Watch the motherfucker that you walk that, that you walk by every day. Alright? Be careful by everybody that you walk by. Don't trust nobody. Don't. Don't trust nobody. Lock your goddamn doors at night, secure them. Do whatever it takes. You ain't got an alarm system, get everything in place. That's some goddamn booby traps. Whatever, all right? Not only that is would these goddamn so-called zombies gnaw on the child or whatever, but you don't know, it may be a time they start coming in your house, okay, at night. Now, I remember years ago, the CDC put some shit out on their website about zombies, okay? Don't kill zombies. They just like you and me. They suffering from such as this before they, all this shit came out. Okay, so they, all, they already knew something was gonna go down. All right? And you don't know, see, the, the, the one of the first things about these goddamn zombie attacks, you don't know if you get bit by one what you done caught, okay? You don't know if you might start craving blood and flesh. Or if you might catch uh, some kind of disease because this motherfucker had some shit in this, in this system That's the, that was in this saliva and got in your bloodstream, all right? You gotta be smart, brothers. Be smart. Be smart, be safe. Take care of one another, and I'm ending this video.